All right, today we're gonna to cover how to change the Haldex fluid and filter in a Mark VI Golf R. So underneath here is your rear differential and Haldex unit. All right, before we get started, I'm gonna go over the different bolts and pieces. This is the cover with the O-rings for the Haldex filter. This is the filter itself. Then we have two bolts that hold that cover on. They use a four millimeter Allen then the fill plug for the Haldex fluid is this plug here with that gasket, which is a five millimeter Allen. And then the drain for the Haldex fluid reservoir is this bolt and washer right here. And that is a eight millimeter Allen. So we're gonna use all of these different pieces up here in the differential. All right, so here's your controller for the Haldex unit. This right up here is your fill plug and then this is your drain plug for the unit. So we're first going to crack this loose when we get going. That way we know we can get more fluid in it and then we'll crack loose the drain plug next. Now over here this is the passenger side of the vehicle where we just were over here with the control unit that's the driver's side. On the passenger or I should say US passenger side right here we have is your cover for the Haldex filter. So we're going to take that out after we drain the unit but we'll get to that shortly. I actually, I can't get my socket in there, so I'm going to use an Allen key instead because I don't want to uh, not have the Allen socket or key fully seated because you're going to wind up stripping it then. Right. Broke that loose. And we'll just spin that out. Make sure our drain pan is nearby just in case. No fluid. Bone dry. So now, with the fill plug out, we're going to go and crack the drain plug loose and drain that out. All right. To do that, I had to use a one fourth inch drive with a reducer to my three eighths to get that out. The torque wrench, I have a one fourth inch drive. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use the torque. Probably should have checked that before, but here we are. And we'll let the fluid drain out. All right, with that trickling out, we're gonna switch over to the other side and take the filter out while we let it drain some more. All right, so there is our cap. We're gonna try and get that off with our four millimeter Allen and then take the filter out while we still let our other side here drain into our pan. Take the screws out the rest of the way by hand. All right, it should drop right into my bucket here. a little stuck so I'm gonna use the pliers to help me pull it out. Maybe not.
it out because it was quite stuck in there was I first sprayed a little bit of WD-40 on the outer seal that's closest to the vice grip there but then I pulled it out with the vice grip because it uh, it was in there if we look up in there we can see our little filter we're gonna get that out now there's our filter we'll let that drip for a little bit now we're gonna take our filter out if we look at our filter here it does have this is the side that faces out this side goes in has a little bit of particulate on it. We'll set that aside and maybe cut it open later if we have time. So in there is where the filter goes. And we're gonna lubricate that with some fresh fluid and stick it on in now. All right, before we stick our filter in, here's our new cap, new filter, old filter, old cap, and you can see they separated and I kind of chewed it up there trying to get it out, but I got it out. You can see definitely there is a difference. You can see the filter material in there. Um, definitely not white like the new filter is there. Before we stick our new one in there, I'm going to take some of the Heldex lubrication fluid. I'm going to put a glove on and I'm going to put some on the O-rings that seal. There is an O-ring on this lip here that sits into the cap. This is how it goes in then into the Heldex unit. So I'm going to lubricate all that just to make sure that everything seals properly. So I'm just going to take my finger dip it in the Haldex fluid and just run it around on these items so that when they go in they seal properly. Should be good for that. Now there was no torque spec for these, but it wasn't much. I'm just gonna go with the torque spec of 15 Newton meters, which I believe is the fill plug. That seems like a healthy, not too insane amount. All right, got these all lubed up. We're gonna go ahead and stick them in now. I want to get a little bit more fluid as it uh, does appear to be a tight fit. I want to make sure that it does not tear or displace those O-rings. push it in all the way it's now flush take my two new screws from the kit right here I'm gonna put them in by hand in both positions now I'm gonna tighten them down and then I'll go get the torque wrench So I just double checked the torque spec just to be sure. I'm glad I did because I was going to do 15. Apparently, for Gen 4 Haldex, it's 5 Newton meters for these two screws on a Volvo. I couldn't find anything in the service manual for it for this. I'm just going to split the difference and call it 9, even though I know that's not even the difference. Um, All 
All right, now we're gonna fill up the fluid in our fill plug up here. To do that, I'm gonna use one of these that you'd use for servicing your boat engine for the lower unit. I'm just gonna use it to pump out from our one liter European fluid. The top won't fit uh, because it's not uh, exact, but it'll uh, work just fine for what we're trying to do here. So before we refill, we're gonna take our drain plug and a new washer with our 10 millimeter uh, so Allen socket. And we're gonna to torque it to 30 Newton meters or 22.1 foot pounds. To get my torque wrench to work, I'm using a six inch extension. And if you're someone who marks your torque, where you can get to it, go ahead and do that. Everything is all torqued. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill. Fluid's almost clear compared to what came out, which is amber. So now, because we took the filter out, we'll probably have stuff that's going to have to get primed into the filter. So I'm going to actually put the old drain plug back on, but we're not going to torque it. I'm just going to put the plug on so we can start the system and use VCDS as well as starting the car to get fluid flowing. So I'm just going to snug it, but I'm not going to torque it. All right, now we're going to go plug in our scan tool. So now with the vehicle running off, with all four wheels off the ground, we can see it is going. We're going to go check the temp. So if we look in VCDS, we can see our oil's at 17 Celsius, which we need to get it a little bit warmer than that for the oil level to be proper. So we'll let that warm up and continue to idle. All right, after a little bit, it took quite a while actually, we reached 20 Celsius, so we're within the range to check. All right, now that we've run the vehicle, We'll check our level here. And it looks like it could use some more. All right, we'll let that slow down to a little drip and we'll put our plug in and call it good. That should be good enough. Wipe down the surface, clean off this bar, or the sway bar, and start it up and test it. Should be good. It cooled back down, but it's running. So I think we're good to go. Good luck with your project.